Hello, and welcome to the Flip Classroom on Solving Proportions WKU. For this lesson, you will need your WKU foldable and the half sheet given to you by your teacher. Please also make sure you have a pencil handy and color pencils are highlighted so you can highlight or color important information. Let's get started. What is a proportion? A proportion is two equivalent ratios. We learned about equivalent ratios on last week. We know that two-thirds and six-ninths are ra equivalent ratios. We can show that by understanding that two times three is six and three times three is nine. Therefore, two-thirds and six-ninths form a proportion. Now let's go to the half sheet that was given to you by your teacher. Remember that a proportion is a statement that two ratios are equal. Which one is not a proportion? Pause the video and determine which of these statements is not a proportion. There may be more than one. Welcome back. Let's determine which one of these statements is not a proportion. We can determine proportionality by finding equivalent ratios. We know that we use multiplication or division to do that. So let's look for the relationship between one and four. We know that one times four is four and two times four is eight. Therefore, the relationship between these two ratios is going to be times four. This is a proportion. Let's look at two thirds and six ninths. We know the relationship between those two ratios are gonna be times three. Two times three is six and three times three is nine. Let's try 25 hundredths and one fourth. We know the relationship between these two ratios is going to be to divide by 25. 25 divided by 25 is one and 100 divided by 25 is four. All three of these are proportions. Let's try the next one, one fifth and two twentieths. Well, in order to get from one to two, I'm going to multiply by two. But in order to get from 5 to 20, I'm actually going to multiply by 4. So these two do not have the same relationship between the two ratios. Therefore, this is not a proportion. Let's try the next one. 2 over 1 and 8 over 4. We know that 2 times 4 is 8 and 1 times 4 is 4. Therefore, they have a relationship between the two ratios. They are equivalent and they are a proportion. Set up and solve proportions. W, which stands for word ratios, are the words given in the problem. What are you comparing? You can determine the word ratio by looking for those words and setting up a ratio. K stands for the known ratio. This ratio comes from the numbers that you know. Which ratio do you know both parts of? And U stands for unknown ratio. Usually, you're going to find just a number by itself. Which ratio do I only know one part of? Let's start our first question. Ms. Caldwell wants to buy enough brownies to share with all 72 of her students. If three trays of brownies will feed 24 students in our first class, how many trays must she buy to feed all of her classes? Our word ratio is trays of brownies and number of students. Those are the two things we're discussing in this problem. Our known ratio is the ratio that we know both parts of. We know that three trays of brownies will feed 24 students. Notice that I put the three at the top where I put trays of brownies and the 24 where I put students. Three represents the trays and 24 represents the students. Now, uh, let's do the unknown ratio. We know the unknown ratio is going to be where we only know one part of the ratio. Well, we want to find out how many trays she will need to feed all of her classes. If we go back to the beginning of the problem, it stated that she had 72 students in all. So therefore, our unknown ratio will be X over 72. X represents the trays of brownies because we don't know how many trays of brownies will feed 72 students. Now, let's go ahead and show some work. How will we solve a proportion like this? We have 3 over 24 and x over 72. We want to find the relationship between the two equivalent ratios. So 
I see a relationship between 24 and 72. I know that 24 times 3 will give me 72. So therefore, I should have the same relationship at the top to create a proportion. 3 times 3 will give me 9. So therefore, the trays that will feed 72 students are 9 trays. X is equal to 9. After the first three games, the Panthers had 66 first downs total. If they continue at this rate, how many should they have after 17 games this season? A third ratio for this one is number of first downs over the number of games. Our known ratio is going to be 66 first downs over three games. Now we know we're looking for how many first downs we would have with 17 games. We're going to use D to represent that variable. Now, pause the video and see if you can solve this proportion. All right, let's look for a relationship. Remember, we have 66 first downs over three games and X over 17. Well, it was kind of difficult to see a relationship between three and 17, but I do see a relationship here between three and 66. I know that if I multiply three times 22, I would end up with 66. So I can use that same multiplication to figure out what D is representing. 17 times 22 is going to give me 374. Therefore, D is equal to 374 first downs. The girls volleyball team is having a car wash to raise money for new uniforms. If they made $75 in two hours, how long would they have to wash cars in order to raise $225 they need total? Pause the video and create the WKU proportion and solve. Alrighty, our word ratio is money earned over hours washing cars. Our known ratio is $75 over two hours. We also know that we need $225 over H, which stands for hours. Now let's solve. We would have 75 over two is equal to 225 over H. I see a relationship between 75 and 225. I know that I can multiply times three in order to get 225. Therefore, 2 times 3 is going to give me 6. So, H is equal to 6 hours. Alrighty, now that you have completed this flip classroom, don't forget that you have a pre-assessment on proportions due tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, February 14th at 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. Please see your teacher for tutorial hours to find out if you can get help with any of this that you don't understand. Have a great day.